Hey YouTube friends, in my last video I showed you how I used milky spore in my yard and in my garden to get rid of Japanese beetles. Today I want to show you how I made my own applicator which is durable, reusable, and totally inexpensive. Something that you can build on your own to make applying milky spore to your yard and your garden so much easier. So let's dig in. For my milky spore applicator, I made the design as absolutely simple and cheap as possible. It only uses three parts. One is a piece of one and a half inch PVC pipe. I already had this. I cut it to be four feet in length. That is going to make it ergonomical so that I can hold it. And then we're using a coupler that's made to fit on the end of a one and a half inch PVC pipe. The sizing on these couplers always confuses me. I find it easiest to just go to the store, pick it out, and go check it <laughs> to make sure that it fits. Inside, we're gonna need something with holes in it. It's basically acting like a, a salt shaker or a pepper shaker. So you can just imagine this is a big, long salt shaker. So we'll need something to insert inside the coupler. And then the coupler is just going to go on the end of the pipe. There are a variety of different materials that you could use to make your shaker. I used a can of tomato paste and I just cut the top out with a can opener. I drilled some 1 8 inch holes in it and it was just the right size to slide into this one and a half inch PVC coupler. You could also use like a plastic top from a Pringles can or a coffee can. Again, it's too big, but you could just cut it down to size, punch some holes in it. That's a pretty easy material to work with. The mason jar lid is a little bit sturdier, but it's also a little bit harder to work with. You might need a to use a hacksaw or a, a drill or maybe some tin sneer snips. The easiest material of all to work with would be just a piece of cardboard. And you just cut it down to the right size, punch some holes in it. But for me, I used this can top because I think it's it's it was just the easiest to work with and it was the right size and it's also going to be very durable. Other materials you might could use, you could use the bottom of a milk jug even. It would work just fine, I think. Not absolutely necessary, but I did add a, a fourth piece and that's just an end cap to go over the pipe. When I fill this pipe with the milky spore, I'll put the cap on the end of it. That'll just keep any dust from coming out the top end. So we have our shaker inserted inside this PVC pipe. It butts up against that lip that is in the coupler. And so we're just going to take that and we're going to put it on the end of our PVC pipe and so that insert is going to be trapped between that lip and the end of this PVC pipe. So we're just going to pop that on there. Fits nice and snug. You could glue it together if you wanted to, but I don't I don't really care to do that. If I want to take it apart, it's just going to be easier enough to do it. So now I'm going to need a funnel to get the milky spore inside the tube 
I have some funnels, but they're smaller, and I use them for working on my lawnmower, my truck. I don't want to use them for this, so I need a bigger funnel. Theme of this channel, use what you have, right? What do I have? I have an old milk jug. Actually, this is an old jug of drinking water, um, purified drinking water. So we're going to turn this into a funnel. So what we're going to do, we're just going to cut this milk jug. And we're going to cut the bottom of it off. And uh, I want to leave the handle intact because that'll be a nice added addition to the funnel to make it easy to use. You can just use a pair of scissors, but I'm going to help it out by using my knife to just sort of get that started. And then we'll take a pair of scissors, go in there, and we're just cutting around. Use what you have and make a good little tray or something. Put some nuts or bolts or something in. Now we have a funnel. We're gonna make sure to dry all that water out of there so that it uh, doesn't stick up the milky spore. All right, so now it's time to fill our applicator. I'm going to use diatomaceous earth because I have a ton of it and I don't wanna waste my milky spore on this demonstration. If I was using Milky Spore, I definitely want to wear a mask and some gloves. Milky Spore is not toxic, but it is an irritant. You really don't want to breathe it, get it on your skin, or get it in your eyes. So, we're going to use diatomaceous earth because it's the same consistency as the Milky Spore. So, we're going to take our homemade funnel. We're going to put it right there on our applicator. And then we're just going to add what would be our milky spore, but in this case is diatomaceous earth. So we just got that right in there. And then we're gonna put our cap on there. Not absolutely necessary, but it's just gonna help keep any of the dust from coming up out of the tube. We're ready to go. Psalm 37, verses 1 through 9. Don't worry about the wicked or envy those who do wrong. For like grass, they soon fade away. Like spring flowers, they soon wither. Trust in the Lord and do good. Then you will live safely in the land and prosper. Take delight in the Lord, and He will give you your heart's desire. Commit everything you do to the Lord. Trust Him, and He will help you. He will make your innocence radiate like the dawn, and the justice of your cause will shine like the noonday sun. Be still in the presence of the Lord, and wait patiently for Him to act. Don't worry about evil people who prosper, or fret about their wicked schemes. Stop being angry. Turn from your rage. Do not lose your temper, it only leads to harm. For the wicked will be destroyed, but those who trust in the Lord will possess the land. Trust in the Lord, do good. Let God worry about those who are being wicked. Don't try to be like them, even if it seems like they're getting ahead. You just don't worry about that. God will take care of it. If not in this life, He'll take care of it in the next. It's all in His hands. But we want to be God's people. We want to do the right thing. So let's get out there and let's grow and be fruitful.